A very good morning to everybody watching us live on YouTube. I welcome all of you right here in Chandigarh, Mohali at this beautiful venue. This is 3BL Season 3. Welcome, everybody. What a wonderful start to the 3, 3BL Season 3 we have had. And today is day two. It's midweek. And guess what? Today is going to be an entertaining day. From 9 a.m. to the afternoon, 1 p.m., you have the 3BL Women's League going on. And in the evening, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., you can watch all the action right here with us. If you guys have not yet followed us, please do that on Instagram. It is 3x3bl and get all the updates. All right, it is now time for me to start the day. Everybody, one more time, let me remind you, this is 3bl Season 3. And today, right now, we are going to have the Women's Conference. I hope you guys are ready. Bring in out the first two teams and the first game of today in the Women's Conference of 3BL Season 3. Everybody, please put your hands together and please welcome Team Pune Panthers! What amazing energy, I already feel this. Team Pune Panthers is already pumped up and ready to take on this game and play against Pune Panthers in the first game in the Women's Conference. Please put your hands together and please welcome Ludhiana Queens! This is Team Ludhiana Queens, ladies and gentlemen, who will be watching us now on YouTube on 3XTBL official channel. This is the game. May I now request the captain of Pune Panthers and the captain of Ludhiana Queens to please join me for the coin toss. You're playing the first game. Good luck. All right. This is the coin toss. This is heads. This is tails. Who's calling? All right. Ludhiana Queens is called heads. Tails it is. Uh, Pune Panthers win the toss. We'll take the ball. This is the first game you will never get to see something like this ever in this country. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow ballers, welcome to a gorgeous morning filled with nine exciting 3x3 games. Today marks round one of 3x3 BL's Women's League 2022. Six teams in the fray, many legends and champions on the floor. Lots of young talent looking to prove themselves and carve a name for themselves. We have two pools consisting of Pune Panthers, Ludhiana Queens and Coimbatore Spunkies in Pool A and Jaipur Regals, Delhi Regals, um, Delhi Divas and Kochi Stars in Pool B. And they will lock horns to de determine this round's winner. The team with the maximum points earned at the end of sixth round will earn a spot to compete at an Asian 3x3 series event. So a lot at stake here for these young women. And yesterday being International Women's Day, they had an interesting exhibition game and uh, it was the start of a very very exciting season for these women because we are all coming back from a very difficult time pandemic and all three years of not being on court and not being able to compete is more like it but now it's time to play ball and that's what we are going to do and in such an exciting fashion and we will not be where we are without the support of our partners who have come forward and sponsored us a big shout out to Nivia, who's our apparel partner, Fortis Mohali, medical partner, Red Bull, our energy drink partner, and Windham Chandigarh Mohali, hospitality and venue partner, Boxer Sing Sports Worldwide Private Limited, who's our name partner, My FM, which is a radio partner, and Sony Live, which is our broadcast partner. You are watching us live on our YouTube channel. Folks, if you haven't subscribed already or liked us, show us some love at 3x3bl uh, on our Insta pages as well as uh, you can follow us on Twitter and also follow us in Facebook. So do show us some love, show these women some support and support. continue to support our league. This afternoon we will be playing round two. So for the men, round two will happen for conference B. Um, uh, forgive me, it's going to be round one for conference B, although this is day two. And it's bright and sunny here at Chandigarh. A little bit windy as well. So it remains to be seen how the wind factor is going to affect today's play. We have uh, Anmol Singh Pannu, who is going to be 
the captain for Ludhiana Queens and she will be looking to lead her team consisting of Kanika Singh Rajawat, Kritika Dengra and Priya Goswami against Pune Panthers represented by Ari Jelly who's Spanish and uh, showed us what it is to play 3x3 ball at a very high level yesterday. Uh, she will be leading Durga Dharmatikari, Nisha Kashyap and Priya Sharma. So now we're all set to start. And this is the start of the game and a quick couple of words. That's Kritika trying to defend Ari. Durga tries to take that shot, but Anmol has the rebound. Anmol out to Kritika Dingra, who takes it to the hoop. Off the glass and she makes it open score for Ludhiana Queens early on. Ari tries to split the defense and go inside. Durga will take the shot. Yes, it's a sweet jumper. A quick one point. And matching score for score is Pune Panthers as well. Anmol Preet Pannu turns around off the glass, but that won't go in. Kritika with the ball. A quick jumper for Ludhiana Queens. Durga, one man down and she takes it to the hoop. Unable to finish it. Tried to scoop a layup in, but a second attempt there is also no good. Controlling the board is Pune Panthers. Takes it out and that was a jump shot. Taken by Durga. Scores are level once more. Many of these young women are playing 3x3 for the first time and have started loving it. A little bit of adjustment. And they're all set to go. But there's a lot of heart and a lot of passion on the line. And that is Ari Jelly opening her account personally with the two. Anmol tries to reply with the two. And yes, Anmol is just as good. Two more points. These teams are... Facing, facing each other and going all out, a lot at stake. Ari is a very young, competitive woman, all of 19 years old and displaying a lot of talent and skill on the floor. A lot of passion as well. Plays hard, just as how it should be played. You can see the arguments they're requesting for. And if the referees thought they're going to have it easy with the women, no, we're just as passionate and love our sport just as much as the men do. So, And that's what they're displaying here. A foul has been called, so she will go to the line. That is Durga for Pune Panthers. Jersey number 15 is Durba, Durga Dharmadikari. Nisha Kashyap wearing jersey 11 and Priya Sharma wearing jersey 10. Ari Jelly with 24 for Pune. Missing this free throw. Rebound still with Pune. Pune finding the open man and a sweet jumper. Nothing to stop her. She made it. And in reply, Anmol has the rebound, puts it off the glass. But no, that's that won't go in as well. Rebound still with Pune. But the ball is out of bounds. So it, this is going to go with uh, for Ludhiana Queens. Kritika. Finding the open man under the basket. Beautiful pass, but unfortunately... Kanika was unable to make it. Those finishes are going to cost them dearly. They have to pay attention to those finishes because they need to try and finish the game well ahead of the 10 minutes. Else, they are going to be frying in this weather. And they have a lot of games ahead. But that's a foul on Kanika. And this it's now Ari's turn to go to the free throw line. Ari is very happy with that call because it gives her an opportunity to shoot uncontested. Ari Jelly of Spain. I'm missing that Anmol Preet is there to quickly pick up the rebound. Spotting up for a two. Anmol. Not able to make it, but the rebound has been taken by Kanika. But the ball is out of bounds. The person is out of bounds. So it is going to be Pune ball now. Nisha.
tries to play one on one there, a little bit of isolation, but Ari is there. Ari is trying to set up for isolation. Yes, she takes it inside. And although she's unable to make it, Anmol is ready and takes a rebound. As you can see, a lot of excitement and action on the floor. Very animated players. And it's really, really nice to watch and understand how much these women love the game. Beautiful, beautiful move there. But unfortunately, she's not able to make it. Anmol has a bunch of rebounds to her credit already. Kanika out to Anmol. Anmol trying to spot up. Turn around a jumper. Yes, off the glass. Anmol picks up one more for Ludhiana Queens. Escoza level once again. Five apiece. Seven minutes, seven on the clock. Ari tries to split the defense and go in. But she's fouled in the process and she's going to go to the free throw line once more. That's something that... Ludhiana Queens have to watch out for because those fouls are going to cost them heavily. It's already the fourth team foul. And they're okay until they get six team fouls, following which they're going to have to concede two free throws per foul that they make until the 10th. And after which, 10th onwards, they're going to concede two free throws and ball possession. That is not something they'd want to do, especially with a team where you have players in the likes of Ari. That's a little dangerous. Ludhiana Queens pick up a quick point. Once more, the scores are level. And now there is a timeout called. And you can see Ari is very animated. Durga discussing tactics. They're trying to understand. Yes, there is a language barrier there. But they are making great headway. And uh, in the Ludhiana camp, we can see Anmol, who is uh, undisputed floor leader for her team, trying to take things under control and ensure that the game is played to a plan. Anmol is being supported by Kanika Singh Rajawat wearing jersey number 94. Kritika Dingra wearing jersey number 9. And Priya Goswami wearing jersey number 4. And uh, now Kanika will sit out a bit while you have Kritika and Priya on the floor. Anmol. About to take a free throw. Makes that one. Makes it count. Ari. Showing some handle. Splitting the defense here and tries to take it to the hoop. And Ari is doing so well because she's drawing those fouls. And she's definitely going to land the Ludhiana Queens in foul trouble. And that is going to be really, really expensive down the stretch. Six minutes, 50 remain. And already the team fouls are at five for Ludhiana Queens. This is what she does best. Charging her way through and takes it to the hoop. If she lands it, they are in trouble. Missing that one. Anmol is there. It's kickball. Ball is out of bounds. Off the legs of Durga. So, the ball will remain in uh, the Queen's hands. Inside to Anmol. Anmol finds the open man. A nice sweet pass there. And that would be Priya Goswami who converts. In return, Ari Jelly. Unfortunately, it's not a friendly ring. It just rolls off. Anmol. Back to Kritika. Kritika spots up for a two. And yes, she makes it. Nothing but net for Kritika. Ludhiana Queens have taken a 10 hours lead. Four points up ahead in a... Matter of few seconds already. And in return, shredding the nets for the Pune Pink Panthers. Once more, another two. Ari Jelly with the rebound. That will be Durga. Durga tries to split the defense and take it in, almost losing it. Ari is there on the sidelines waiting to take a two. But rebounded by Priya Goswami. Now, Kritika has the ball. The score is now Ludhiana Queens have 10 and Pune Panthers have 8. 5.57 on the clock. Six fouls already for Ludhiana Queens. They're going to have to avoid. Oh, yes. A nice pass to the open girl. That would be Durga who made that. Off a nice assist from her teammate. And this is once more nothing but net for Kritika Dhingra for Ludhiana Queens. 
They're picking up those twos in quick succession and that's what is making the difference. But Durga is there to try to split the defense once more and pick up those ones. Those singles are just as important. Yes, those twos are game changing. But those singles keep you in the game and that's what is important. Every possession must count. Ari, back to Durga. Durga. Stops and ball is stolen beautifully by Kanika. Kanika on the periphery. Anmol spots up for a single. Well rebounded by Kritika for Ludhiana Queens. A ball is out of bounds. It's going to be Pune ball. Five minutes, ten remain and they are trailing by three points. Durga out to Ari. Ari to Nisha. Ari finds her way inside, but she's not able to make it. Ball is out of bounds. Ari out to Durga. Ball rebounded by Ludhiana Queens. That would be Kritika dropping it to Anmol. Anmol finds the open man. And yes, she makes it. A little unconventional, but she made sure she got it. The Ludhiana Queens have a four-point lead. Although four points can disappear in the blink of an eye with a couple of twos. It's a lot of hustle on the floor. And that is Kanika Singh Rajawat drawing that foul. So Kanika will get a free throw. She's not able to make it. Durga with the rebound for Pune. Ari outside with the ball try split and go in. But she makes a quick outside pass to her teammate Priya Sharma who makes it a single. But still it's good. Closing the scores. Drops it inside to Anmol. Anmol is not... Passes it out, but this time it's Ari Jelly with the two, but that's missed. Missed an opportunity, a lot of frustration for Ari because yesterday in uh, the exhibition game, Ari was just shredding the nets out there and uh, that was quite uh, exciting to watch and hopefully she will try to find her rhythm in the remaining time that there is. Anmol to Priya. Priya back to Anmol. Anmol takes it. Rebounded by Priya again. Three minutes 59 on the clock and now it's now a time a timeout. Ari calls for a timeout. Discussing strategy. You can see how animated she is. When it comes to playing ball, language is definitely not a barrier, even if it's a fractured version of whatever language that they're speaking. They make sure that the point is understood. Even the body language and the passion is just enough to get the matter conveyed. And that's what is happening here, as we can see in Pune Panthers. Exciting to watch a player like Ari come and uh, uh, play our league. A huddle is always good. Anmol, definitely the floor leader for her team. With a lot of experience playing overseas in Japan, high school and a university basketball. Hustling there. But that's a foul and that's exactly what Ludhiana Queen should be avoiding because at, from this point on, it's going to be two free throws. And looking to Capitulate on that is going to be Priya Sharma who goes to the free throw line. Two free throws to her. Will she be able to make it? Remains to be seen. Misses the first one. This, these opportunities are going to prove quite expensive. Garnering those fouls is not as important as converting those free throws. And she misses the second one as well. Kanika with the two. 
not a friendly rim, but Anmol is there to pick it up. That opportunity is wasted as well. And right now the ball is back. Durga trying to split the defense, go inside for a floater, but rebounded by Durga once more, tries to put it back up on the second attempt is no good. Rebounded by Kanika. Ludhiana has the ball with them, but it's going to be Pune ball. Nisha, back to Durga. Durga, splitting the defense and yes, a neat floater there. Penetrating inside and right in the center. Manages to score, keeping the scores up. The scoreboard is continuing to tick, although slowly. Anmol off the glass, making sure the distance is just maintained. Three-point deficit is what the Pune Panthers are facing, but that is now close now. Couple of points. One more point they picked up with that jump shot. Kanika with the ball for Ludhiana. Ludhiana launches it. Oh, and yes, that's good. Two more for Ludhiana Queens. Just about taking it away. Four point lead once again for the Queens. Nice one. Very, very sweet move to the basket, but she's unable to finish. But picking up the rebound and putting it back inside is Priya Sharma for Pune. Priya Sharma. This time it is Durga trying to reply with the two, but then Priya Goswami is there to pick up the rebound for Ludhiana Queens. Passing it, drops it inside to Anmol. Anmol is checked, but then she makes that shot. It's Pune ball. Durga spotting up from two, and yes, she makes it. Keep keeping them alive. Hopes are still alive. This game is not over, folks. That's for sure. Kanika. It's an air ball. A technical foul to Ari. Four point deficit. I'm having a lot of <laughs> heated words with the referee. Ari Jelly of Pune Panthers. Okay. A minute and fifty eight on the clock. Ludhiana Queens with seventeen. And Pune Panthers with 13. A lot of discussion happening. A lot of waiting and watching to see what decision is going to be taken. Anmol is ready at the free throw line, waiting to make good on those free throws that she's going to be getting for the technical that has been called on Ari Geli. She makes it. That's one free throw for Anmol. Points just three points away. Rebounded once more by Anmol, kicking, uh, kicking it out to her teammate who's on the attempting a two. Kanika has the rebound back to Anmol. Anmol back out to Kanika and back to Anmol again. Tries to draw the foul and put it off the board, but several attempts down and Pune have the ball right now. Ari Kelly launching a two, but that won't go in. So much of frustration for Ari right now. Pune Panthers trail by three and it's a minute and 28 to go. You can see how aggressive the defense is going to be because a little time on the clock. And this time, once more, Durga sets it up for Pune Panthers with another two points. Just a one-point ball game now. And it's well within reach, a minute and 12 remaining on the clock. Anmol is there to pick it up and put it off the glass. Does the shot count? Yes, it's going to count. And Anmol is going to go. It's going to be an uh, and one situation. She is going to go to the free throw line. Anmol's, Anmol Preet Pannu. An invaluable game so far for her teammates. Doing everything it takes. Pulling down those rebounds. Making those shots when needed. While Durga has had... 
a stellar performance for the opponents. Durga has been continuously shredding the nets with repeated twos. Ari out to Durga. Durga tries to spot up for another two. But unfortunately, that won't go way off target. Ari once more. Kicking it out to the open man. Priya Sharma. And uh, this time, it's an air ball for the Ludhiana Queens. But they're there to pick it up and put it back inside. That would be Priya Goswami for the Queens. 32 seconds remain and a quick timeout. And that is the end of the first game. Ludhiana Queens with that one point by Priya Goswami. They have ensured a victory for them. And th this is the first victory of the Women's 2022 League. Ludhiana Queens have beaten Pune Panthers with a few seconds remaining on the clock. And they have beaten them 21 to 17. It has been quite an exciting game with a lot of passion on the floor. And this is something that we have been looking forward to. And the next game is going to be played between Jaipur Regals and Delhi Divas. Ludhiana Queens, Anmol Preet Panno is going to be very happy with her team's efforts. Because Ari Geli was definitely a thorn in her flesh. Considering that she brought in a lot of excitement, a lot of speed and passion. Unfortunately, Durga Dharmadikari's twos did not go in favor or rather fetch them the victory that they needed much. We can see how Anmol and uh, Durga and uh, Ari were able to contribute regularly to their team's success. Answering two for two. Both teams have performed very well. The conditions are getting hotter. And uh, despite all of that, both teams have performed well to give us a good first game for the Women's 22 League conducted by 3x3BL. This is the second season for the women. A lot of first-timers playing 3x3 ball but adjusting fairly fast. A nice one off the glass. A reverse hook. Now, let's go back to Rishi, who is going to be talking to Anmol Preet Pannu. What a cracker of a game that was. The first of the Women's League of 3BL Season 3. And that couldn't have got any better for a start. I have from the winning team of Ludhiana Queens, the very mighty Anmol Preet Kaur. First of all, Anmol, congratulations on winning the game and coming to India for such a long time. You feeling good? Yeah, very good. Uh, what do you think about coming here and playing this season? I'm very excited and I was, I will say that I was very nervous, but it's getting good. Uh, tell us about your team now. How are you syncing with it? What's your strategy like? They are, we are having a very young team. We are like quite young and we are playing for the first time. And I even didn't know the names and all the players, but we are adjusting to it and they are really very strong. Yeah. Just for all the viewers who don't know, let me tell you that she's right now in Japan and doing a fantastic in the making career. So congratulations and all the best. Thank you for coming here and winning your first one. That was Anmol Preet Kaur from Ludhiana Queens. They have won their first game. Let's see what happens next.